This is Chalmette National Cemetery, located in St. Bernard Parish, Louisiana. Chalmette National Cemetery was established in 1864 as a burial place for Union soldiers who died in the Gulf area during the Civil War. It also served as the site for reburials of soldiers from battlefield cemeteries in the region. This plot of ground was part of the battlefield during the Battle of New Orleans. Only four U.S. veterans of the War of 1812 are buried here. None of the British soldiers who died in the battle are buried in the cemetery. The National Park Service reserved stewardship of the cemetery in 1933. The peaceful aspect that so often envelops the cemetery provides a moment in which we, the living, may acknowledge the contribution of those who fought to defend this country. This is the grave of Captain Stephen R. Proctor of the 2nd Regiment Light Dragoons. He is one of four soldiers buried here at Chalmette National Cemetery that fought in the War of 1812. This is the grave of James A. Franks, a member of the 2nd Mississippi Infantry, he fought in the War of 1812, and he died on January 27, 1847. Now, like I've said before, everyone has a story. Unfortunately, you can't get all their stories. Sometimes, there's no documentation, or very little of it, to tell their story. Sometimes the only information you can get is on a tombstone. As you'll notice, A lot of these grave sites, a lot of these tombs look like this. That means that these soldiers are unknown. And there are over 6,700 of them here at Chalmette National Cemetery. It's a very cold day out today, very rare in Louisiana, but it does happen every so often. Right now the temperatures are balmy 50 degrees and the wind chill is in the low. And here is the grave of Major Nathaniel Wells of the 13th Regiment Mississippi Militia fought the War of 1812. Died on October 16, 1843. And buried next to him is his first wife, Elizabeth Wells, who died on June 10th, 1835. Both of them were buried originally in the family cemetery in Pike County, Mississippi. In 1943, both of them were taken from that family grave and moved here. Nathaniel Wells, the son of Thomas Wells and his wife Ann Bailey, was born in South Carolina. He married Elizabeth Simmons in Abbeville, South Carolina in September of 1800. Nathaniel took his family west in 1804 and traveled across North Carolina to East Tennessee. From there, they traveled by flatboat along the Tennessee River, then to the Ohio River, and finally reaching the Mississippi River. From there, they landed in Adams County, Mississippi, just north of Natchez. Wells and his family would eventually settle in Pike County, Mississippi. In 1812, he would raise a company of cavalry to fight in the Creek War. In 1814, he was elected major of the 13th Mississippi Regiment and fought against the British in the War of 1812. Major Wells was an elder in his church and was also a member of the Mississippi Legislature. 
His first wife, Elizabeth, was born in December 1782 to Robert Simmons and his wife, Ann Miller. Elizabeth would bore 11 children for Nathaniel before dying in 1835. Nathaniel would remarry in 1837 and had three children with his second wife, Sarah Walker, before he perished in 1843. There are over 15,000 individuals buried in the 17.5 acre cemetery. Veterans of all major American wars and conflicts are interred here. Of these 15,000, more than 6,700 are unknown. By 1945, all available burial sites were either occupied or reserved, and the cemetery was closed. It was reopened briefly in the 1960s for burial of Vietnam War vets. This is a memorial to Major Samuel Spots, who shot the first gun at the Battle of New Orleans on January 8, 1815. He was a member of the 3rd Regiment, 7th Battery, Artillery Corps. He was born in November of 1788 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He died in July 1833 in New Orleans, Louisiana. This is the Beauregard House. It was built in 1833, several years after the Battle of New Orleans, which occurred in January of 1815. The last private owner of this home was Rene Beauregard, son of the Confederate General. Our final stop on the War of 1812 soldiers who are buried here at Chalmette National Cemetery is unfortunately unknown. However, this is what we do know about this soldier. He's the only participant from the Battle of New Orleans to be buried here. He was a soldier from Tennessee and on his way home to Tennessee after the battle, he perished. He is known only to God, and we thank him for his service. This has been our trip to Chalmette National Cemetery. Join me for other adventures along the River Road and in New Orleans proper. Thanks for watching.